Her name was Anna, a Belgian student living in Paris. She was hard on the trail of her missing father. For once, fate smiled on them. They were all going in the same direction. But while approaching Vimy, a German squad No, I have to do this again. <laughs> no, I have to do it again. Oh no. Oh, I don't have to do it again. Oh, I was terrified for a second. Thank you. The the channel points icon I did. Um like pretty much everything on this channel. <laughs> um I need to redo it because it's the wrong shape. It's too squished and I don't know why it came out like that. So I need to redraw it. Right, for anyone who hasn't seen this game, um we're a Frenchman and a dog. A German dog and we enlisted in the army and we're trying to find our son-in-law who's German and our American friend got hurt and we're trying to get him some medicine. Not a great explanation. But we're gonna we're gonna try our best. I feel like we need the we need this. Do we not need that? We definitely do need it. Um, tab, I think. No. Nope. We read this, I think, last time. Yes, we did. How do we become a dog again? Is it one? No. Shift? Bottom was dog. Dog button. It's definitely not dog button. Um, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Space. Tab. Left up. Ah, you can make the dog get it. Oh, I'm a genius. Oh, champ. Good dog. Do. I have to wait for him to disappear again. There we run, 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 run. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, hi. Oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> I imagine the dog has to go under there at some point. Oh, 
So scary. I love how I love their mustaches though. You can send the dog through here. Probably something that we need to pick up from the background if it's down there. The dog is down there. And we can't cut that yet. <laughs> You're gonna watch these people. Run a lot. Ah, that's what we need. We need. Go back this way. Don't mind me, I'm just a dog with bolt colours. Just a dog with bolt colours, nothing to see here. <gasps> oh, that was scary. No doubt. I can't remember how to dig. Back to the <laughs> back to the <laughs> keyboard. Dig. Throw. Hit interact. Move up. Move down. Interact. We keep back as well. Hint. I feel like this is something that we can dig and I can't remember how to dig. I see the Zeppelin now. Okay, run. Run, run, run. <laughs> that was so close. So scarily close. We're definitely going to miss a lot of um, items, I think. Yes, distract, distract. I'm sorry for punching you. Call out the guy that's outside. one at a time. Oh, we need a plunger. We probably have to take. 
a different route to get to. Uh, that's not what I intended. <laughs> Can't do that. You have to find out how to put this dynamite on. Oh, there's more dynamite over there. the bottle. Do have to be further away. I don't need your help, Miss Stark. Miss Pigeon, I suppose. Oh, I'm taking off the roof. <laughs> Not what I intended. Maybe we have to knock it from the other side. Thank you for no longer shouting well, because it was starting to make me lose my mind. I guess it's continuing to make me lose my mind. Shift. Drop. I have to be able to get it up here somehow. I was hitting the roof. Maybe there's something smaller we hit it with. Dog hands. You can get the the other dynamite. Oh. Swap my dynamite for his dynamite. <laughs> oh, I'm so annoyed by this. It doesn't, I don't need it. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to have it. My dog. Come here, Walt. And now we're going to blow it up. Oh, I have to go. I'm down. <laughs> Now we don't have to care that they can see us. Good dog. Right, now we're going to do something scary. 
Aha, here we go. Down and left and left. Down and left. See here. Where's the key? Where's the dog? Oop. Don't want to see window. <laughs> dog burns. Hiding. Mm -hmm. We did look. Did we look at? Yeah, we looked at all this before. So this will be a good time to read it. Uh, don't look. I think we have to come back for that a bit. Oh, it was a letter. Got a letter. I knew I'd miss some stuff. Maybe we throw this. Probably not that way though. <laughs> Good thing there's an endless supply of wine. <laughs> Maybe we throw it this way? No? <sighs> Need to get the dog down. To get the dog down. <sighs> we need... 
handle that's in the next room. I'm part of Dick that way. Do we throw it like right near us? So that he comes over and looks at it. And then Ah Oh, oh that was close. Tinned fish, I think. That was so close. We got the handle. But how are we getting back? I'm scared to come out now. <laughs> I just live here forever. No. Can we not bring two? I think maybe we have to knock him out. Do it like yeah. oh, too quick. Then we come out, and then we oh, then we come out, and then we oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I have to dig through here again. <laughs> Do we have to throw it like right up here? Maybe. Like right out of the way. No. No. Because that alerts that guy. How do we distract you? I mean, not, we can't hit him with that because. Yeah, and then he kills us if we're here. So, what are we doing? Or do we make him look that way? Like shoot it right over his head, and then we, hey, <laughs> we got there eventually. I say we when it was me. You failed terribly at that puzzle, and you who are probably watching in frustration. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
Actually, what else can we do? Mm, three. Just coins. <laughs> for our friend this has to be the strongest spoon known to man so we need something to open that Any and here we have a puzzle. Can we send the dog to do anything? Ah. We have a hook. He can't get that. Can't really do anything with this. Anything here we can pick up? Nope. And it goes back through. And we get our dog friend to help us. Get scared with those like that blue, they're gonna fall. I can't dig here. So we do climb very carefully. One explosion. Oh, that's our dad. Baron von Dorf had escaped again, but Emil had still managed to find medicine for Freddy. They were quickly back on the road again. Their journey would take them to Reims, where they would at last pick up the trail of the elusive Baron and his Zeppelin.
was terrifying. I guess we're gonna time our way out of here. And run. And run, and run. And whoa, run back this way. And then run again. This is so beautifully drawn. Good dog. We should probably look at the... We'll save this child. And then we'll look at the historical bit. Because I think it's probably... And then I think we have to push it back into the fire. Bolt clippers there, which we'll probably need to come back for. <gasps> well, we can give it its dog. Right. Let's stand here and read the thing. Rhymes Cathedral. The city of Rhymes suffered during the war. September 19th, 1914, as the Germans retreated from the city, they set fire to the cathedral, and as the city was so close to the conflict zone it was bombarded by zeppelins and cannon fire. During the bombardments the statue of John of Arc in front of the cathedral lost a hand before it was dismantled and stored in the catacombs. By the end of the war only 1,500 inhabitants were still living in Rhymes. It's completely understandable. Imagine it's horrifying enough now to live somewhere where bombs are being dropped on you but imagine how even more terrifying it was back then because it's something that people had it's just a concept people didn't even have probably the home front with practically all able-bodied men mobilized at the front women children and the elderly were employed in factories to ensure weapons production women took on traditional male jobs some even held positions of responsibility. This new role changed their status in society, and in the wake of the war, women over 30 years old were given the vote. The Women's Institute held its first meeting in 1915, with the aim of encouraging women to become more involved in food production during the war, and the movement flourished. Ooh, I keep forgetting we're not the dog. I don't really need to do that. Gas mask, I think. Good dog.
le cas. I don't know what it is we've got, we'll have a look at it in a second. We have War Godmother Certificate to improve morale on the front, an association was created in France in early 1915 to provide succour and support from behind the lines for soldiers without close families. The War Godmothers sent letters and parcels forming close relations with their godchildren away at the front of the front. <laughs> away from the front. Early gas mask. While gas masks were in more widespread use on the front, they were also available to civilians and in French towns close to the front, like Rheims. They were fairly common. This early model was one of the first, composed of a cotton compress doused in a neutralising solution and applied to the mouth and nose, similar to the British Black Veil. If you see them, they're really creepy looking. Right, help this guy. We found the, the child. He's helping us push it. He's helping us push it. We need someone else. Oh him. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. I think I have to send the dog with it. Down. Dungarees. Yeah, I have to give it to the dog. And then get Walt to stand on there. And then we come back. And we go up. Take him up. Now we come back up because we need to go in the cupboard. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> hey, Reza. <laughs> and then we go down again, don't we? Yes. <laughs> I'm not. What am I doing? We have to get our dog friend back up onto that bit <laughs> to do the next bit. How do we get him down then? We just leave and he just magically comes with us. Now he's stuck. How do we do it? Oh yeah, he needs... 
I'm so dumb. <laughs> he needs to be on there. I'm so dumb. <laughs> At least I'm smart enough to remember <laughs> some of it. Thank you for your help. This music isn't terrifying. Safety razor. The safety razor was an early 20th century invention and shaved more safely than barber's blades. You see straight razor, that's terrifying. In 1917, safety razors were standard issue in US soldiers' kits because it had been noticed that gas masks provide more effective protection to shaved faces. Overalls. Practically all able, uh, able, able? practically all able-bodied men were mobilised at the front, but production still had to carry on. Women took over men's roles in factories and in other traditional male positions, working for much lower salaries. Some even held positions of responsibility and were involved in decision-making. This new role changed women's status in British society. I forgot the other one. I forgot to look at this one. Active service paybook. A paybook belonging to a British soldier. It also contained practical details such as a last will and testament form, as well as the names and addresses of close relatives to contact in the event of death. The book also served as a regulations guide to good conduct advising men. In this new experience, you may find temptations both in wine and women. You must entirely resist both. If I remember correctly, a lot of people refused to fill it out because they thought that filling out your will meant that you would die. There's the Joan of Arc statue. Oh, it's this puzzle. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got Freddy's in the roof. I never want to be this close to exactly. Was off. <laughs> the dead one. 
Oh no. Oh no, I opened something else by accident. In my in my fear. I opened a file. <laughs> Again. Again. Just run directly in a hand grenades. You <laughs> could be here for some time. <laughs> run forward. Run forward. Run forward. Pick up. Thing. This is not real life. Third one. Left shift. And throw. One, two, three, four. Pick up. Left shift. Throw. One, two. <laughs> Three, four, five, those pick up. Left shift. Throw. No. Throw at me. One, two, three, four. Does pick up. You need to be closer. I think maybe we have to do the front one first then. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Throw it at him? Oh no, we throw it at the fan. That's what we do. Two, three, four. That's it. be further away. No. No, we don't need to be further away. One, two, four. Three, we cross that. Yes! We did it. <laughs> Unfortunately, our son in laws on that. <laughs> and her dad.
cup of tea broken off. I really like how this looks did like in uh where nine months earlier. Anna was training to be a veterinarian when the war broke out. The Germans were only twenty miles from Paris when she received a letter from her father. He was in good health, but implored her not to return home to Belgium until the war's end. Patience, however, was not one of Anna's strong points. Pigeon. This pigeon, right, let's look at Germans at the gate. In September 1914, the German advance took them to within 20 miles of Paris. The government had already fled to Bordeaux and was expecting Paris to fall. In the north, most of Belgium was occupied, but under the king's command, 75,000 soldiers kept Ypres and Issa out, out of German hands. Taxi to Man On September 6th and 7th of 1914, General Galliani requisitioned 630 Parisian taxis to transport troops rapidly to the Man. While relatively few soldiers were actually transported, 4,000 in total, 3% of the total number of men deployed in the battle. The impact on the public was huge. The event became a symbol of solidarity for the nation, and the Man counterattack saved Paris from the German occupation. Probably made people feel like they could do something. That's always helpful. I'm gonna go throw out some rocks at pigeons. We need that layer. And now we wait for our pigeon. You got a letter. <laughs> oh, so <loud. laughs> Taxes to the man, Persian taxis are requisitioned. We'll look at this in a second. Oh, look, it's the Eiffel Tower. It looks so pretty like this. Here we are, we have all four of them now. Inkwell. Ballpoint pens were not developed until the 1950s and 60s, so soldiers used a quill or nib to write letters. Ink was poured into an inkwell, into which, in order to provide enough ink, the quill or nib had to be dipped regularly. That's going to be very impractical. <laughs> Letter from a Belgian civilian in Paris. Dear parents, we fled our land before the German advance to take shelter in France with the children. Unfortunately, the Germans kept coming forward and Paris is largely under siege. If Paris falls, we, sh Paris? If Paris falls, we shall return home to Liège. Or Liège. Your dear daughter, Mathilde. Broken watch strap. A watch strap broken by a motor crank handle. Before battery ignition was developed, motor cars were started by cranking a handle. As the engine sparked into life, the operator had to let go of the handle. Smartly, because the crank handle now propelled by the engine could cause a nasty accident. 
Newspapers. The main source of information was the newspaper. Radios were in their early days based on tube technology and television did not exist. On top, radios. Yes, yes, yes. TVs did not exist. On top of local and national news, a news section appeared in the newspapers dedicated to the events on the front. Some newspapers also published daily listings of prisoners of war and war dead. That's got to be an exceptionally depressing way to find out that someone's passed away. I think this is square, yep. That was square. That's a triangle. This has got a triangle in it. I don't know what we need it for. How did you get her? In the like five seconds we were looking at you. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's a rhythm kit. Let's get out of here quickly. So no one realizes. How terrible am I healing people? <laughs> oh, this is what we needed it for. <laughs> Escaping now. I swear we die horribly again. <laughs> That was close. This is more scary. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> September 7th, 1914. Taxis drove all night. Anna was proud to help the soldiers reach the front line. When Anna arrived at her destination, she discovered the horrible truth with her own eyes. Mm-hmm. This is the part when you realize that how bad things really are. <laughs> it's it's never good when you can hear COVIDs. <coughs> Ow. It's probably got its entire lower body crushed if you're under a house. Mm. 
This could take some time. <laughs> hey, Star. Thank you. Thank you for this stuff. I'm trying not to kill the man right now. <laughs> and I'm terrible at rhythm games. <laughs> I hope you're doing alright. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this would be a lot easier with it cons on the console because this lag is really not helping me right now. <laughs> I hope your nap was good. I'm really struggling right now. <laughs> yeah, this isn't working. I still haven't unpacked my things from my trip either. <laughs> I just have them like on my bed <laughs> at the end of my bed. We just, just leave you. <laughs> no, we have to help. I, there's definitely points in the game where you 100% need to know what you're doing and it's not helping. Nope, killed him again. I don't understand when you're supposed to click this because when you click it when it's supposed to go under the line it's like no you missed you click it when it's gonna arrive just before the line now you've missed <sighs> one more try Why don't, I, why don't you want me to do it? I might have to look up a walkthrough for this bit because I don't understand why it's like this. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that for a second. Let's have a look. Uh, let us have a wonder. Who's uh, what game are we playing? We're playing Valiant Hearts. And I haven't needed any help with the puzzles yet. I just don't understand how I play rhythm games. I mean, he did have a horse fall on top of him, so I'm letting him get away with that. I'm letting him know. <laughs> You're allowed to be a bit. Uh, we're in part two. In part two. Do, 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 do. Like if a horse fell on you in real life, you're 100% dying <laughs> it's this full body weight right on top of you like your pelvis would be destroyed and that's very dangerous uh, I don't want achievements and trophies I want to read the walkthrough. Why is it won't let me? <laughs> or do I just scroll down here? Nope. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> I would simply, I would simply resist. <laughs> Oh, 
Just show me the walkthrough. My dude, just... Just do that. And then... Oh, my stomach. I just rumbled. Uh... <laughs> Just show me so we can play the game. Why are you being so weird? How did your trip go? I know we only talked the other day, but you were driving back. How did that drive go? Here we go. Been through chapter one. Friendship, we raced our taxi. Here we are. Uh huh. Blah, blah. Emil. Chapter 2. Here we are. Man. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it just says, you'll have QTEs. I hope you got some good sleep. Oh, God, I've got to do deep, <laughs> deep Googling right now. How to do the healing rhythm game. Volume. The Great War. <sighs> riveting, riveting, riveting stuff right now <laughs> from me. I like that part of Christmas too, uh, watching people open things. <sighs> Healing call. It's a QE. Do we just press it immediately? Let's have a let's have a look at this, and then we can always come back and complain. <laughs> One more try. Nope. <sighs> Do I change the keys? This is the thing. Usually when you play a rhythm game, they want you to click it the second it's under the line and this one is like no 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 Seven hours of me doing that. Tonight. <laughs> what would be the IRL equivalent of doing this? Just like, you'd be so... You'd be so over-medicated at this point. <laughs> well. Do you know what I'm doing wrong? Let's see if we can... Oh, I might have to watch the video. To see how it is. Because <laughs> it's really... It's really not having it. And we have to play through her part, which is just healing people. <laughs> One minute, I will mute desktop audio and I will watch a video and 
I love it back. I like the way it's just like, it's a cutie. Uh, Valiant Hearts Healing Uh Minion Great Law How to Heal <laughs> a lot of people later on that we really need to heal. Uh, <sighs> it's just such directly on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you for knowing what I want YouTube. Bye. How to heal in Valiant Hearts <laughs> The Great Wall I tried that and it was still like, fuck you <sighs> Healing the Wounded Maybe this is it Maybe this will tell me something. <laughs> Maybe this will help me. Let's see what they do. <sighs> oh, it's meant to be when it like goes directly under the thing. I need to switch sounds back on, don't I? Yes, yes I do. Let's try one more time. On the walkthrough, they're pressing it. But don't. But don't. But don't. But don't. Might have to switch again. <laughs> Rhythm games are not my thing. with the game. We are not angry with the game. We can do this. We can do this. I don't think we can do this. <laughs> mm. I thought it was gonna be right before the line but on the walkthrough that I watched they're pressing it directly when it's underneath and that's how they were doing it. But they were also playing on a controller and I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Oh. 
Ah, uh, it's because I changed. Open. <sighs> I changed the keys that I was using, and it wants me to still use the original keys. There we go. <laughs> I changed moving to Wasad instead of arrow keys, and healing is still. Seven months went by. Driven by compassion, Anna devoted herself, body and soul, to healing the wounded and the sick. Every life saved was another small victory over the war. The conflict, however, raged on. Mm. Speaking of the conflict, uh, originally when you open the game, <laughs> it has movement to arrow keys, and I moved it to Wasad, and then it was still arrow keys, but I didn't. I assumed it would be Wasad because I'd moved the arrow keys to Wasad, and that's what was going on. That's how long it took to understand your rhythm game, game. That's not what I wanted. Tab. Here we are. Um. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. But we can hear a raven right now. The Hedekoom. The Hecatomb? The Hecatomb? <laughs> the Hecatomb. The Hecatomb. The first three months of the war saw especially heavily loss, heavy losses. August the 22nd, 1914 was the bloodiest day of the whole war, with heavy casualties. The numbers of wounded were far greater than had been anticipated, and the military health services struggled to cope with the scale of the conflict. Nurses were the angels of the Great War and were generally volunteers recruited by the Red Cross, the Army or the American ambulances to work long grueling shifts in hospitals both at the front and behind the lines. They played the rule the rule the role of carers, mothers and confidants. They often feature in soldiers' memoirs and are sometimes their sole companion in death. The majority were demobilized at the end of hostility. <laughs> what I did remember is that if you've ever seen War Horse, the movie or the strap mill, or the um, stage play, or I've read the book because it was originally a book. It's set at this time. We'll look at them once we get more. Maybe we'll kill something. That. It's really beautiful. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I get that. But I don't really want to do it. <laughs> I want to look at these socks instead. <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> if you're squeamish, we're about to uh, saw someone's leg off right now. Just as a warning. You have been warned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Can't imagine how painful it must be. 
because we 100% did not put enough of anything on that. Oh, like, um, it was down. Oh. Oh. I'm still horrified now. But yeah. Oh. This is like so unsanitary. And we probably didn't clean it very well. And you're 100% getting gangrene, my friend. I should really feel ill now. <laughs> <sighs> 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 something for him. <laughs> he needs water. <laughs> that one's easy. Medical history is very depressing. Do you think we can give him this so he know? Or we need something else? No. I'm probably gonna have to come back for the saw at some point, maybe. There you go. This is really unsanitary too. You gotta dig a hole. You can't just put soil over someone because it washes away. I think he. Oh, well. I think he has um, a scarf on him now. There's a cross. You have them all but one. Shuffle it probably. Ew. <sighs> Just the amount of dead people there were and like how hard it was to bury them or deal with it properly as well. Right, we're gonna read our items to take a break, a little break from what's going on. Letter from a Prussian soldier. If you don't know where Prussia was, it was what is now part of Germany and sort of surrounding countries. My dear daughter, oh, 6th of September 1914, my dear daughter, we are making headway through the French countryside. The landscape is beautiful. 
I'd much rather be enjoying it with you than killing people. Think of you all the time. Your father, Wolfgang. Mess tin with holes. Both, both dishes of this mess tin have holes in them. Not hugely practical for eating, perhaps, but life-saving for one soldier. The mess tin bag was born at kidney height. When the shell exploded, this mess tin slowed down the searing hot shrapnel in flight, which, although it wounded the soldier, helped him live another day. Mess tins were blackened using smoke to prevent them glinting in the sunlight. There's a lot of tales of stuff like that, like the Imperial War Museum in London has a collection of items like this that were from World War One, where um, having them on them saved someone's life. Like there's a, a Bible with a bullet in embedded in it because they had like a breast pocket and they, some some soldiers used to carry a Bible in it to protect them from gunshot wounds to the heart. Lice corn. In their journals, soldiers often recount their losing war against lice and rats in the trenches. Apart from lice powder, the only other prevention against lice was this fine-toothed metal comb. Often when soldiers took leave behind the lines, they were scrubbed down with hot water, their clothing boiled or a new in uniform issued. Reminds me of when we were little. Because every child gets head lice at some point. And there's lots of creams and hair shampoos and stuff for it, but like the legitimately the only way to really get rid of them is to use a like a metal tooth comb. And it hurts so much to get your hair combed with it. Because it'll just rip any kind of if you've got any kind of like knots in your hair, it'll just rip it out. Because <laughs> it's so finely toothed. Shrapnel shell remnants. Shrapnel shell, shrapnel shell, shrapnel, shrapnel shell remnants, a shell containing lead bullets, depending on its settings, the shell may explode on contact with the ground, sending its contents flying, or in the air, or even for even more destructive results. Tallow socks, socks soaked in refined tallow, tallow is uh, like oil from animal fat and coated with formal, the most effective way to beat the cold and damp, frostbite and other ailments. That at least was what the adverts had people believe. However effective the socks were, the soldier's best friend was always a nice dry pair. Because <clears throat> people, people's feet used to rot because they were just in water all the time. Nurse's manual. The war effort suddenly required a larger medical corps and there were not enough qualified personnel. Some manuals were published and distributed to help volunteers train. The manuals provided a whole host of practical solutions to logistical and medical problems at the front, such as how to make a splint or stretcher using rifles and their straps. Oh, oh no. Oh, imagine. Oh. A needle. Finally a needle. Ooh, tweezers. Oops, oops. I don't got this <laughs> Needle. Oh, yeah. Left, 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 left. Oop, up. I'm not doing well. <laughs> up, up, up. Right, right. <sighs> right, left. Right, right, left, right, right, up. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
breathe. <sighs> the French officers were talking about Belgium. The German army was about to experiment with a new weapon near Ypres, Anna's hometown. <laughs> Anna got en route to warn her father about the imminent danger. Reaching the outskirts of the city, Anna was greeted by the screams of sirens. The deadly gas was already here. Oh, God. Ypres, a town in ruins, dubbed Wipers by British troops due to its difficult pronunciation. The Belgian town of Ypres was a key strategic position during the war. A hub for road, rail and canal networks, it became the target for sustained bombing from 1914. In 1915, the Germans even used chemical warfare on the town. By the end of the war, the majestic cathedral and town centre were nothing but ruins. Technology at work. In the wake of the technological advances of the early 20th century, the vast scope of this industrialised war brought developments in all fields, aircraft, submarines, dirigibles and tanks. Great progress was made in the fields of medicine, surgery, and medical hygiene and radiology thanks to Mar Marie Curie's work, who took thousands of x-rays of the wounded. Poison gas is really terrifying. Here we go again. Down, right, up. Chest compressions, chest compressions. Down, up. Oh. Just advice for anyone taking first aid <laughs> advice from a from a game. Don't give anyone that you've just done CPR on anything to eat or drink. It's not good. <laughs> Not a good idea. <sighs> oh, God, that terrifies me. This is... this is not safe. <laughs> How do we go down? Oh, here we are. No? Oh, it's this one. I really don't want to go across there. Why did you make me do this? Why was why would you do this to me? I imagine the two the big ones go at the bot the bottom and the little ones go let me, put, let me put let me put it in the right one thank you 
Why are there so many shaky, shaky things? Oh, it's up there. Do we have to ring the bell ourselves? Oh. oh. <laughs> I hate that it does this to us. Every time, every time I'm like, no, no, maybe to fall. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ding dong. That bell is so destroyed now. I me, mean, I'm just destroying things. <laughs> Change around this. Two buttons. That was scary. Down, left, down, left, down, left, down. <laughs> I like how they have such big legs, but then they have tiny. They have tiny little um, feet. <laughs> Where are they? Anything over here? No. This house is very fancy. Nothing. Ah, a chamber pot. <laughs> Every time I've seen someone play this game, they're always like, oh, a cup. And then they're like, they find out it's, uh, it's not six or something like that. I hope it's not a number puzzle. <laughs> if it is, we're in trouble. We're in so much trouble if it is. Maybe before we go down there, we just look at our items. Maybe that would be helpful. A wooden top. Or a spinning top. A wooden top with string, a common toy of the age. During the war, toys gradually became more war based through board games. Children could fight out famous battles while other items ridiculed the enemy. After the war, toys and games became pacifists once more. A letter from a Scottish soldier. 19th of April, 1915. Hello, pal. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm allowed to in part Scottish. <laughs> but I'm still not going to do it because I'm terrible. Your ears would melt. Hello, pal. I'm in the town of Ypres in Belgium. A pretty wee town that must have been bra before the war. The beer too. The beer too. Any bad. 
I'd much rather be drowning in ill with you, though, boy. I'm off to the front in two days. Take care of yourself. And say, how do you to the family? John McCormick. Yourself is so Scottish. I think I'd probably say yourself. Yourself. <laughs> Broken walking stick. The knob is all that remains of this walking stick. The stick has been carefully sculpted. A souvenir of the trenches. Unfortunately, a broken walking stick is of no use to anyone. Doesn't it look like a little hand holding, like, a pen? Probably not a pen, but it looks like a little hand holding a pen to me. <laughs> Gotta find a laugh where we can. Because, uh... Four. So one and a four. Uh, and there's a one, one, and a six up there. It's probably. Do we not have the key? Oh, is it up here? Did we check here? I know we went up here at some point. I know we went up here. <laughs> I'm just slowly losing my mind, don't worry. Oh, I know where it is. Gotta punch this painting. There we go. <laughs> Came all the way up here to forget how to do it. <laughs> well, like leaned forward. <laughs> Ivan kind of leaned forward to six one one six. And then one four. Ooh. No doubt we will be looking three eight. Six. We'll try six four eight first. And then we'll 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 do maths. <laughs> Oops. And then eight. No. Six had two ones. What's eight? Four as a one, so that's five. And then eight. Five. Eight, five, nine, ten, eleven. So that would be one. Eight, five, one. Why have I got my hair? <laughs> what am I doing? Eight. Five. Nine. Ten. One. No. <laughs> if only the paintings told us the truth. Anyway. Is it six? Could it be a nine? Unless it's the other number, and it's two one three. Let's do two one three. Two 
No. Three, two, one. <laughs> no. So if it's not, if it's not adding, if it's not directly the numbers, if it's not adding the numbers, and it's not the other numbers, could it be that you take them away and it's four, three, Five, four, three, five. No? <laughs> Spicy pasta sounds nice. I was going to tell you what I had for dinner and I can't remember what it is. Isn't that great? <laughs> what did I have? Oh, I had cottage pie and sticky toffee pudding because my sister wanted some and she couldn't eat all of it. So I got the other half and then I had salt and vinegar crisps because no one else will eat them. <laughs> Let's look at the picture. Does the picture have anything to do with it? Oh, the scrolls. That's in the middle. Is it the position? Four is at the end. The eight is in the middle. And the six is at the end. Unless it's a nine. But is there a nine on the thing? She says, is there a nine? No, it's an eight. We assumed the six was first, but could it be that it's a four first? <laughs> is it four? I feel like a genius right now. <laughs> How did that even work? Why, 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 why did me doing maths turn into an actual thing? Oh no. stereoscopic camera. A camera that captures two simultaneous images on plate and <clears throat> a camera that captures two simultaneous images on glass plates enabling relief images. Use of the camera was relatively widespread because the device was small and readily transportable. Chemical formula. 2Cl2 plus 2H2O equals 4HCl plus O2. This formula is the description of what happens to soldiers' lungs when they inhale chlorine gas. Chlorine gas reacts with water in the lungs to produce hydrochloric acid, creating horrendous burns. Hydrochloric acid is also what is in your stomach to help you break down food. So. Everyone has been sick at some point and you know how much it hurts your throat. Like just imagine it getting in your eyes or in your lung. And it's a lot more concentrated. 
the night would be. It's a higher, higher, lower pH. One of the two. It's also why when you clean a bathroom, you have to have the window open. Because it reacts in the opposite way too. That's hydrochloric acid is also in bleach. So be very careful with bleach. Thank you for coming to my TED talk about bleach. <laughs> We got a handle. Just in general, be careful about. Uh, I thought I saw something shiny about cleaning products. Oh great. I keep pressing space as if it's gonna make us jump. Where's the interact? Fun. I don't know if this is close enough. Apparently it was. Uh, two buttons. Two buttons. Two buttons. <sighs> down, down. Two buttons. Left, left. Two buttons. Ones. CPR. Down, down. Right, right, down, down. Right, right, down, down. Up, oh, up. Oh. The governess revealed to her that her father, an eminent scientist, had been kidnapped by Baron von Dorn who was eager to use scientific advances in warfare. Anna set out in pursuit of the Baron and encountered Emilia and Freddy. Hey. Destiny brought them together. They had survived the enemy's wrath. Their gunfire, bombardments, gas attacks. And now, now with her father within reach, Anna wasn't going to let him sleep. Thing do we need to look at? Oh, here we are. Life and death of the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin was effective at the start of the war, and in 1915, London suffered over 50 Zeppelin raids before the Royal Naval Air Service intervened. The craft's weak spot was obviously its hydrogen filled balloon. Hydrogen is lighter than air, hence its value to avi aviation. <sighs> However, it's also highly inflammable, inflammable and the slightest spark sent in the craft sent the craft plummeting spectacularly groundward in a ball of flames 
of the 92 craft used during the war. The what? What? Used during the war. 68 were destroyed. And the next picture has someone with a very severe facial injury on it. So I'm just warning you before we go there, if you don't want to see it, I'll let you know when we're back if you have to step away for a bit. Facial disfiguration. By 1918 there were 20 million war wounded. All countries included rough, roughly 70% of injuries came from shrapnel and only 1% from bayonets. Facial injuries could result in having a jaw, nose or eyes removed. But progress in surgery saved and patched up many victims of facial disfigurement and amputation, of which there were 200,000 post-war. And there. We're, you can come back now if you stepped away. We're just hiding in a bush. But if you can, um, you can deal with looking at people who have severe facial injuries like that. There's some really good documentaries on YouTube about how prosthesis, prosthesis, prosthetics, pros, facial prosthetics and arm and leg prosthetics got so much better during the war because of the need for them. And there's still some that have survived from that time that you can look at. And like the amount of detail on the first ones are so amazing because it's the difference between someone being able to live a relatively normal life and not. And it's amazing like how, for considering what they had to do, like available to them. How lifelike they could make some of the prosthetic prosthetics, and uh, I've always thought that like if I was going to go back to school again, learning how to make prosthetics for people would be pretty high up there on my list of. Things that I would like to do. Because I like making things, but I also just like being able to help someone. My dad is a son. I'm using the arrow keys. But yeah, I think it would be a like, very cool thing to learn. Because there's so many... Is it's not a great setting? Like, ow, cow. I'm gonna go help the meals, son and daughter. Oh, he's on the wrong side. The 
just gonna run the front. Hello, Paige. We're watching a very depressing, <laughs> playing a depressing game right now. If she sounds like I'm gonna make the dog go get it. Otherwise, we fall in the fire. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I had to go shopping earlier today and it was a nightmare. What, why are you going, dog? Why are you taking it back? We need that. Right now we're trying to save our dad. And our friend's son-in-law. There he is. Look. We need to go up here. Dog. Get this one. Thank you. I don't know why we need a tin can, but we do. That guy there that's being uh, impaled by part of a zeppelin is our friend's son-in-law. I think we have to explore it that way. It's over here. Well, that didn't work. Do um, we just explode it in the middle? Apparently we just explode it in the middle. <laughs> Such a safe thing we just did. Oh. Oh. This poor guy is mints at this point. Poor Carl. He doesn't even want to be here. He's got a wife and a child. Right, down. Oh, right. Oh, oh. oh we survived. Left, left, left. Down, down, down. Left, 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 down, 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 left, left, left. Oh, that was terrifying. And we still need to do it again. We have four fingers on it. Left, down, whoop. Left, down, two. Left, down, two. Oh. Left, 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 down, down, down. Left, left, left. Down, 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 left, 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 two. Oh. Oh. This is so scary. Left, left, left. Down, 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 down. She didn't see anything. Go, dog, go, go, lassie, go. Tell them that someone's stuck in the well. This is Emil's the grey haired guy. And. Oh my god, my brain. Freddy 
is the other guy. Emil is Carl, the guy that got impaled a father-in-law. And Freddy just hates Baron von Doff, who is the other guy. <laughs> Is that a beer car? Oh, I need the dog to get it now. Come here, dog. Come here, dog. Guess I'm not getting that one. By the light of the moon, and won't go back anywhere. Yeah. Hey, ah. The dog is so good. And do you want to know what's the best thing about the dog? Go back this way. Where is the dog? Oh, here he is. You can pet him as much as you want. And he's so cute. Dog paying simulator. <laughs> Oh, it's not beer. I thought it was beer. Let's look at our items while we can. Items. It's sterilizing solution. Soldiers drew water directly from rivers and streams, but because of rats and decomposing corpses, river and stream water brought a major threat of disease. Soldiers used a variety of products to disinfect water before drinking it, but the best solution was just to boil it. Virgin Mary statuette and case. Gotta have a case for your Virgin Mary statue. A case containing a statuette of the Virgin Mary, another example of trench art. To overcome their boredom, soldiers so soldiers? Soldiers would set to work transforming anything that came to hand. Unexploded ammunition, empty cartridges, and shrill shrill de shrill debris. <laughs> <laughs> Shrill to me. Shell debris were all turned into day to day items and put into a more pacifist use. There's a um, museum that I went to as a child, and there they have like a whole um, display of this kind of art, and there's um, a lady donated. The engagement ring that her, the guy who went on to be her husband gave her, which is made from the an empty cartridge of some sort of full cartridge, <laughs> some sort of bullet or something, and it was really beautiful and like engraved and stuff. Letter from a Soldier, Rhymes, 14th of June, 1915. Dear Emma, we are on retreat. Our position is untenable. Don't worry, I'm still in good health. We are going to leave Rhymes to the enemy. Rhymes is a beautiful city. I hope all is well at home and you are taking good care of our parents. I hope those prisoners are working properly for you. See you soon, Siegfried. And then we don't have these. Still the same thing. And I've got to hide behind bushes again and use our dog to distract soldiers. Beauty. 
You didn't see anything. <laughs> you did not see this dog. Oh no, we have to give it back to him. And then we throw the dynamite into the fire. The worst throw yet. Thank you for being my emotional support person through attempting to figure out how to heal in this game. Star. <laughs> I hope you have a nice time, whatever you're doing. I'll see you later. See you soon. See you later. See you at some point. Be safe while you're out there. Or you're in there. Or wherever you are. <laughs> right, I need to be better at throwing things. Like I might be good at throwing shot but it doesn't mean I can throw oh my god give me this back please. Oh shift. I'm sure I have to throw it in here. Oh my god. Alright you're gonna do this all over again now. Dog. And then, and then get the dog to steal the dynamite. And then we bring him back. And then we get the dog to. to and then we take this off the dog. Thank you, dog. Good dog. And we don't press the dog button and we press this button. <gasps> there we go. Hey. Hey, walk. Go now. Ooh. Oh, and then we take this back. This way. So much shouting. But to be fair, a zeppelin did just fall out of the sky and explode in a forest. Uh, well. yeah. Let me come out. Bonk. Bonk. And Freddy cuts us out because Freddy is our friend. Uh, not really. <laughs> I think we're in 1915. Still. on fire and then we throw it up oh, through the fire oh my god I did it <laughs> oh, my luck with throwing things in the fire it's not great like in real life, this would be an absolutely horrifying scene to walk in on.
victory had a bittersweet taste for Anna. Carl, seriously wounded, had been sent to a POW camp. Anna's father had disappeared with Baron von Dorf, and Emil was court-martialed for desertion. Cited for his bravery in Rance, Emil was fortunately pardoned and set free. Free to go back to the front. February 21st, 1916. Winter had descended on the front. After joining back up with the army, Emil and Freddy were stationed near Verdun, suffering like many others from the harsh winter. Verdun is not a name of somebody that you morning, want to think about. That morning, the arrival of the mail raised spirits, but Marie's letter did not bring good news. In saint Miel, food was scarce, Disease was rife, and the number of dead was growing. Out of this grim news, however, there was one ray of light. A photo of his grandson, Victor. Standing on both feet and learning to walk. He was literally like a baby baby when we left. Don't worry, Brad. Not that Verdun is a bad place, just it's one of the battles that I actually remember from history class. <laughs> Verdun, Ypres, and the Somme. And none of them were in any way good. I think actually I might end here for today. Because I am getting real tired. <laughs> I'm doing all right. How are you, Emperor? The game's going all right. I mean, apart from how I didn't realize that I was using the wrong keys for healing. But <laughs> I changed the, the walk the walking keys to Wasad from uh arrow keys and uh, <laughs> it was it hadn't changed them for the the healing part. I realized that. That's a clean suck. It's a very stinky suck right now. We didn't steal bread. Good dog. We need not scare the bird. There we go. One feather. Wet sock. One dry sock. 
Let's look at that. Oh my God, so many. <clears throat> Feeding soldiers at the front. Supplying millions of men at the front with enough food was a logistical nightmare. The diet was mainly composed of bread, rice, soup, and sometimes meat and dried vegetables. Food parcels from home were ambrosia for the troops. <laughs> British soldiers had a ration of a pint of wine and a third of a pint of rum every day. One of the soldiers' fatigue duties was to go behind the lines with containers to fetch their company's rations. Sometimes food did not reach the front line and infantrymen could go without food or drink without several days. Without food or drink for several days. Fun fact, we only got rid of giving soldiers alcohol in the 70s. Um, I Eighteen months later. In over 18 months of combat, the front barely moved as each side dug in and tried to claw back enemy positions. The war of attrition turned 1915 into the bloodiest year and civilians became hugely affected too. By late 1915, shortfalls in human and food resources began to make themselves felt, while ammunition shortages were especially problematic. Barb wire funny I was just talking about barbed wire uh, yesterday and in the invention of barbed wire was <laughs> that a friend invented in 1874 barbed wire was already a common feature of trench war protection in battle but with the great wars onus on trench warfare it became widespread <sighs> thousands of tons were deposited in no man's land both sides sought tools and strategies to overcome barbed wire, such as grappling hook, grappling irons and wire cutters. Intensive bombardment was deemed to be most effective method, and the tactic became widespread. Dead soldiers putrefying on barbed wire remains one of the enduring images of the war, a powerful symbol of its violence. There are a lot of pictures. And... Um... videos of that for dawn triggered by the germans at dawn february 21st in the aim of penetrating allied lines the battle eventually lasted 300 days some key positions changed hands several times before the french finally prevailed the battle produced the highest concentration of casualties with 600,000 killed over 61 square miles i.e. one death for every 311 square yards. Military decorations. Britain had six war medals, the most issued of which were the British million... The, the British million. <laughs> the British War Medal and the Victory Medal, the 1914-15 Star and the 1914 Star. 6.6 .6 million British War Medals were issued. 5.7 million victory medals, 2 million 1914-15 stars, and 365,000 1914-14 stars. A combination of the star, victory medal, and war medal was fairly commonplace. Over 2.5 million trios were issued, and earned the nickname The Pip, The Squeak, and The Wilfred, after the popular cartoon characters in The Daily Mirror, The Dog, A Penguin, and The Rabbit, respectfully. Tobacco case. Tobacco cases made from shell casing. Empty munitions were often recycled. Some old exploded shell materials were already aesthetically interesting. Otherwise, soldiers would rework their finds to create handy items. <sighs> Tobacco was precious, so soldiers were eager to keep it dry. Many accounts from the trenches expressed soldiers' appreciation for the Christmas cigar, a special festive treat for the troops. Card game. Days in the trenches were long, and, and to overcome their boredom, soldiers would play cards, read, write, and create objects from materials they found. The Germans played scat, the French manille, and the Allies brag, or pontoon, amongst others. I've never heard any of those card games. <laughs> Ink. Then we can write out loud. My dearest daughter, I heard from Carl. 
His condition is stable. He is still in the prisoner camp south of Reims. I hope to finally get permission to visit him. Thank you for the photo. It means so much. Run. Run. And run. Whistle. I think it's a whistle. I keep saying things are whistles. And they turn out not to be. Officers whistle. Officers were issued with whistles to signal soldiers when to charge. The sound of the whistle became synonymous with the journey into the unknown when soldiers surged out of the trenches and into an no man's land. Brazier. A helmet with holes in it, filled with coal and wood, and used as a braz brazier. And they said a brazier. And that's a tiny different thing. The item would have afforded some protection from the cold. Although helmets were made of metal, they often, off, they only offered scant protection from bullets. <laughs> 